good morning guys welcome to the vlog so today is sunday it's actually super bowl sunday i don't know who's playing really don't care but i'm going to the party <laughs> um but today my husband and i are headed to the house so we're actually staying with family uh we're headed to the house to finish so they are coming to pack up our stuff on tuesday so we have to have everything essentially done organized um decluttered um separated so we're um, doing a partial ditty which means some stuff we are taking on our own so the stuff that we don't want the movers to touch we actually have like what i call a harry potter closet um, so we're putting it all on there. Going to put some painters tape, some do not touch. My husband's going to have one job. Don't let them take this stuff, right? Um, so we're going today. Also, I want to go ahead and clean the bathrooms and just shut them down. The kids aren't here anymore, so I don't have to worry about any of that. The bathroom's in the kitchen. So when they take everything out on Tuesday, all we have to do is the floor. Tip, when you're moving, guys, take the extra effort to fix stuff patch the holes up change the blinds if you have kids like mine they mess up the blinds everywhere we go everywhere we go every single room every blind is messed up so we actually got blinds from lowe's ten dollars but <laughs> they charge like a ridiculous amount when you get them through the rental company whether it's on post or just a regular rental company so take the time switch out the blinds yourself Make it look presentable. My husband's gonna patch up. When we were moving in, there's like a hole on the steps. He's gonna go ahead and patch that up. It literally is like a, a film that he puts over that kind of has like little wires in it. And then you just put the white stuff on it. And that's it. Like I was like, wow, this is sort of saved me so much money. And you know, before I met him, hmm, who knew? So we are doing a, a lot of stuff today. Um, we went to Walmart, so I'm going to go ahead and insert the clip from Walmart, guys. We got, you know, just some stuff for, um, he does patches, like the mil the not the military, well, military patches as well, but like um, the bikers, their patches, um, he has a couple clients for that. We got Tay Tay some stuff because I always, always, always look in the baby section for her and buy her pieces when I see good deals or cute little things for her. And um, I'm washing everything, like washing everything. So we got like laundry soap and, and things that I would need. Right now we are at Biscuitville getting some breakfast and then heading to the house. Babe, I don't, oh, I can't see you. I don't think they've seen you since you cut your hair. <laughs> he looking like 1999, y'all. This is how he looked when we got married. You look younger now, though. I think you look. It wasn't. It wasn't how it used to look. Yeah, he looks like when he shows me pictures when he was younger. This is how he looked. I thought I got a whole whole new boo. I guess this is how. Is this how y'all feel, babe? When we change our hair up like that? Mm -mm. You you're just used to it. Oh. Yeah, Walmart for the kids is the place to go. At least for the baby. Look at this. These are so freaking cute. And these are freaking, look, 388. Oh my goodness. These are so cute for Tay Tay. Look at these ones. What size are these? 12 months. We're at 18 months right now, just so it lasts longer than a day. But let me see if I can find it. 18 months. Oh, here we go. Jackpot. Jackpot. Here's my honey. <laughs> Get last minute stuff for an order. So I also always check out the boys section. Like I love this for Tay. I love this one. I love this one. I love this one. Like I'm tired of pink. Like everything is so pink and bright over there. Like they have joggers. They don't have that in the girls section typically. So I'm not gonna get anything because we actually have so many clothes that were gifted to us um, in all sizes. So I just pulled out all the 18 month stuff, but. This is something that I would pick up for her out of all of these and probably some joggers. So I think I'm going to get this shirt too. So Spread Kindness has like the pink with the army green. Typically I would not get this, but she actually has some pants that would go great with this there. Army green, they have like pink uh, hearts on them. So I think I'm gonna get this for her. This is a little bit more expensive. The girl stuff always is, this one's 488. So we're moving to a place that's colder than where we are right now. So long sleeves are definitely something that we need. 
Look at this, so cute. Yeah, I look crazy. Like, we're headed to the house to clean. And I'm finished because they're coming on Tuesday to pick up everything. It's Super Bowl is today. So we just jumped up, brushed our teeth, you know, freshen up. And then we are headed to our house. We're staying with friends. Um, so we're headed back to our house to finish um, before the festivities. So she definitely needs one of these. I don't think she needs it today, but before we move, she's gonna need one of those. She's not gonna like it, but if it ever snows or anything like that, we definitely need her to be like super comfy. All right, let me let me get my mind together. Let me let me focus before he get me. So I'm definitely looking at stuff for the house. I think I'm gonna do something like this in the uh, guest bathroom because I am gonna go away from paper towels. Just, it's unnecessary cost and I can just get hand towels. But for me and my OCD, I really, really, really can't just like keep them there for too long. So I think I'm gonna get something like this where the hand towels, when they're dirty, can go here. Or maybe just uh, put a stack of hand towels and when you use it, just put it here. Like, I think I've seen it at a spa before. I'm really considering these with the amount of water that we drink. Um, just getting the filter. This is only a hundred dollars. And then you get the water, but you can actually get them uh, delivered to your house. So I think I'm gonna do this instead of continuing to buy bottled water. Cause every time we do bottled water, we gotta throw them away and my kids will drink half the bottle and then get rid of it. So instead of buying jugs, instead of buying bottled water, just doing this. Oh, this is cute. They have a small one. I like that. Oh, this is, is this it? $30? I really like this. It's small, but how big is it? How much? Three to five gallons. Oh, I actually, you know what? This is, this couldn't be it. Three to five gallons is like just enough. Babe! Now, how does this dispense right here? Y'all, I'm all in it, right? Yeah, I'm really feeling it. I'll show y'all what I've done so far. This is one of the kids' rooms. So it's bed, TV. This is going to the dumpster. It's like really old. And then what I've done is just, um, this is what he's keeping here. So he actually packed his bag for about a week. Dude took like all his shoes. <laughs> so I'm gonna insert a picture of what I'm actually gonna do. I found it on Pinterest for his shoes. But these are the items that they are going to pack for him. So here's one bathroom. I just gotta like take the blinds down. My husband's gonna have to fix this. He actually is gonna have to put another rail up. So let me get a move on so I can get done and get out of here. Guys, I really wanna do like clean with me's and you know, move the camera and do all that, but I ain't got time. Literally, we have like one more day in this house. Guys, <laughs> I literally spent all my time cutting my hair, but I knew that I wanted to do it and I didn't want to wait because if I waited and then I ran out of time, I would not be happy with my hair. I've always cut my own hair. Uh, tips for that is, Use really good scissors, use shears that are made for cutting hair. Uh, go slow, slow until you get in your vibe of what you like. Slow, uh, short, and then kind of keep it uniform. So I do some of this side, I do some of this side, I do some of the top. I do like a little length on the top. Um, that's what works for me. And then um, after you've got it pretty short or where you want to, uh, see it at style it even though yes you do need to shower and get it all off but even I haven't showered yet so I style it how I typically wear it because the hair falls differently and it's you're gonna be able to cut some more off and make sure it, it falls into that style the way that you want the last tip would be have your shears ready because it actually takes a couple of days 
for your hair to be exactly how you want it. So in the morning, a couple times during the week, I'll go ahead, I'll see something sticking out. I'll see something not quite right, like this, right here. Um, just go ahead and snip, snip, snip. Let me get cleaning, cause I ain't did nothing yet. Hey guys, so it is almost four o'clock. We've been here all day. We went and got some Zaxby's for lunch because I was a little hangry. Your girl was hangry. But I'm going to show you the after of today and the tomorrow will be the last day to like get stuff done. Also, just a couple of hacks that I picked up along the way. So let's just go ahead and get so, it. So it's the master bedroom. So earlier you guys saw this had clothes and stuff on it. My clothes are actually packed. I have my shoes and my army clothes in here because you always want to take at least a couple uniforms i have to finish out processing this week sign into my new unit so all those things i need my uniform for so i have two one one pair of pants two tops and a crap ton of shirts because i sweat so i like to have a lot of shirts boots my clothes my husband packed his bag but as you got oh as you wives know they always forget some stuff so literally i have a bag full of just extra shirts for him that i found while i was doing his closet more underwear and basketball shorts mostly these items are going with us it's my laptop more diapers uh lady friend things because that time is coming open um containers of hand wash so i'm just going to take those to where we're staying and use them up there playpen need this for baby girl so i don't do socks so um we have a sock bin but since we're not going to be here what i'm going to what i've been doing is just kind of um creating pairs and then i'll take those with us and we'll use them up these items are going with us so in that box is all like my stock overflow stuff, lotions, soaps, liquids that they won't take. And then in this bag right here are all the items that I had underneath my counter in the bathroom, beauty products. So skincare, hair care, things like that. Little tip, use gallon size Ziploc bags to kind of keep all your wet stuff together. And also it keeps it from like spilling on all your stuff and it also keeps it together. Let's keep going. Okay, my husband said he has not even gotten there yet. He's been busy. So another thing in this, we're probably gonna repaint this, honestly. We're taking it because we got it from his parents and he's like, you know, in love with it. His mom actually did paint it, which it was really nice, but it's really old. So we're gonna like sand it and do a little DIY with it. But again, this was like a junk drawer for me. All of the little things put in Ziploc bags, pins, all types of stuff, batteries, hair stuff, Ziploc bags. All my little tiny candles, I was gifted these Ziploc bags. What's down here? Nothing. So, also what we're going to do is actually going to take this. This is our little change that we've been collecting. We're gonna take it today and see how much money is in there. We'll just use that towards our move. All right, Tay Tay stuff, this section has grown. Y'all look at this bathroom. Oh, oh, so nice and clean, ready, nice and clean. I still have to like do the cracks. I have a lot of hair. We have to switch out that. We. I um, always change out the um, hose or nozzle or whatever it's called. So we have to put the original one back on. So I'm going to use these up in the house, whatever I don't use. I'm just going to get rid of. I'm going to like just get a whole new system. But this is a really good system to have, guys, because these are disposable. I didn't show you guys a before of my husband's closet, but his closet is a, was a hot mess. He just has so much stuff. He's always so busy. So what I did is just folded up everything, all his jeans, all his pants, all his joggers, all his sweats. And then these are shirts that I couldn't hang up because I ran out of hangers. Another trick, guys, is you. So these hampers are going in the trash, like clearly. <laughs> we knew that they were going in the trash. I didn't buy any more because I was like, hey, 
removing soon. But what I am going to do is I have things that were actually taken. So these are all my planner things in here all together. I have my PTs in here and my other pair of pants. So all this stuff is all together. Down there I have more lotion and soap and stuff like that and plastic bags. But this, we're doing a partial ditty. So we're actually going to be carrying some of our stuff and being reimbursed for some of our weight. So I'm just putting stuff in here instead of getting boxes because we're not taking that much. It's just easier to throw things that are wet, sloppy, kind of need to stay together in here. Have your beginning um, slip from when you first move in so that if anything is broken, it's um, documented. They're not, they may or may not still have that form because we've been here about two and a half years. So I have mine. I just have all of the stuff broken down, kind of, and ready for them to come and get. Fix the blinds. The blinds are all good. Guys, fix the blinds before you leave. This right here is, I've gone through all of my papers that have kind of just been hanging around in the house. This is what I'm actually going to take to work tomorrow and shred. So in my hall closet, I have just things that, random things, and I just have it here so they can go ahead and pack that up. I did wash all of our mats for the bathroom. I washed them and just folded them right there for them to take. All right, the kids room. So his beds are all done. His blinds are all neat. I moved his dresser so I could clean behind it. Whole trash bag, y'all, whole trash bag. So I am still taking his um, curtain rod. It's a tension rod. I love that for the kids because it actually allows them not to break it. <laughs> and then I have all toys. I have this little TV. Another thing, tape your remotes to the television. So this is a Roku TV. This is his Roku remote right here. So when they move it and they take it out, it is still in um, with the TV. And we have a lot, of, all of our TVs pretty much are Roku TVs, but they only work to the TV it comes with. So. Don't lose your remotes. And last thing that we have is our area that we are taking. So, as you guys can see, all of these are blankets. They are freshly cleaned. They're not on the floor. Um, so we're gonna actually transport those in our truck. And here we have just random stuff. We had a lot of stuff <laughs> um, in our bathroom, hair care, body wash face, beauty, makeup, all that good jazz. Y'all, this is all makeup. This whole bag. This entire bag. But we're not going to talk about that. Uh, we're taking all of the toilet paper, paper towel situation because those are things that we're definitely going to need when we move. And then, I don't know if you guys can see this little black bag all the way back there, but I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, that right there is actually... It goes on top of the car. All right, guys, I am tired. I'm ready to go. I take a shower and relax before the Super Bowl and people start showing up and, you know, I'm tired. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Hope everyone's having an amazing day, having an amazing week. Today is Monday on your end. So have a good day. Make it all that, that you want it to be, I guess. Um, you know, it's fresh start of a fresh week, fresh start of a fresh month. Come on. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.